but no sign of him remains. Wait there, Leo. So you're here. I've been looking for you. And you're by chance seeking the great spirit, Ju Jabun. I'm sorry to report you that Jabun can no longer be found here. Just look how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow and the great fort in the in forsaken fortress. <clears throat> but fear not, Jabun was able to flee this time before it was attacked, and he is in a safer abode now. We'd like to guess where that abode may be. On the island where you were born. On outset. Yet even if you were to go to outset now, you would not be able to see Jabun. The cave where hides a seal with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why not even the pirates with their mighty ships can get in? I must apologize, Leo. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought of the consequences. I don't know what they hope to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break down the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Woodfall Island, but to what I do not know. If you wish to see Jabun, I think you'd be better search on search for the pirates on Woodfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boosts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds of rain. Relu must have been right when he asked you to bring word of Jabun to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But this is your decision. I have told you of Jabun, so my task is complete. I shall be seeing you. Let's explore for a little bit and see what we can find. Top of those. Okay, I'll just leave in. Okay, Green King of the Red Lions, let's just leave this place. So, Jabun has survived. The sea spirit has long lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Gan's attack beforehand. If we are to believe that towards the Rutopos men and the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hides. Why don't we go to Windfall and search for them there? But first I want my talking fish. Small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I like to take your chart information with the sign. Yeah, yeah. Great Fish Isle. You should come on these parts on the night where just a wee bit left half the moon is missing. That's when it appears. That's all that I got to offer. But here again, you have to give me bait. Windfall, so it's northeast.
narrow music da, da, da. Let's ride into the night, shall we? I think it's supposed to stay nighttime. Ah, uh, tornado! Oh. We're running out of bait. Oh, a small frat. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Take it out. Dun, 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 dun. Tingle Island. Oh, yeah. Hen lives here. He's still dressed like a little kid that is not normal. Still, from my theory, he can't decipher maps like nobody's business. It goes to show you that no one can judge a person on. Sorry, I might mute the switch all mixed up, but yeah, stupid shark. Ah, you see that? We need the bow and arrow to deal with that. Because, oh shoot, don't want to mess with you. Don't want to mess with you. But that cyclone, it's good to fight it, but it's not good to fight it. Right now, I don't feel like messing with it. Quickly get this fish fed, and let's get out of here. Oh, that's my fry. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Take it out. Northern Triangle Island. Let me tell you something, Small Fry. He's going to hang a giant gang of four little hoodlums. They're always causing trouble for him. Little, little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. Some might get a cold 
the school of scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of a poor teacher. Can we fry? That's all I forgot to offer. Let's get the heck out of here. I'll have to wait on facing that thing. I don't really feel like doing it right now. Can she get out? Save state. I'll show you what it is. South. I'll show you how bad we will lose currently. <clears throat> this is total suicide. I never tried doing it with boomerang. Try that. <laughs> does he look familiar? Foolish creature, who does not fear the gods to the end of the sea with you lets the wind of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. Like I thought, Boomerang won't do anything. And it tele randomly teleports you somewhere. Leo, you are right. I will assume that the wind got Cyclos bear some ill towards will towards human. As you go forward, you should be wise when you try not to get sucked by any cyclone once upon the sea. But if only you could find a way to harden into the power of those cyclones and might travel across the sea instantly. Do not have an item that can pierce distant targets. If you did, you might be able to obtain such a power. Keep that in mind. But how far away are we? Yeah, I'm just going to load that save state. And let's just continue going north towards Windfall Island. I have no clue what just happened. Ah, a pirate ship. It just as a postman told us the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention to the townsfolk. I know what I know I know not what they are researching, but if they hope them getting their hands on Jabun Sacred Gym, I doubt they will tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Leo, I think you should try to fill, find out where the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Lion, sir. Okie dokie. I know where they are. I can't remember where that building is. Can we get on board? I think we can, actually. Alright. The ship's only tooth is a cool. 
No, not completely wrong. No, scream, non pirate. Oh, that sucks. You have to have a stupid passphrase. Haha, <laughs> abusing the system. Yeah. And let's watch. Look, don't be mad. It's, it's not our fault they absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think us of it as a payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, okay? <laughs> so I bet you're thinking it's foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over the bit of fast talking you pulled out to get information out of that postman. Uh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, man, I set my eyes on that Leo. I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah. So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about that kid and stuff. Impressed so he spills the beans. Good work, Donzo. Really, just top notch. It's funny though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra smarts, if you do get married and have a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever set sail in the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah. Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes yourselves and get those bombs back to the to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're sailing out for Outset Island. What? We have to leave immediately, but it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? Now we go up tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead. I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, etc. Is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah, and I can't help but to think it'll be awful hard for them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what you say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. You have to hurry on an outset or the same thing could happen there. Oh, Not to be disrespectful, by the sound of your things you're worried about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Ha ha ha. All right, fine. Have it over with. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're sitting here first, like so no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, aye. Say, there, brother. What was today's password again? Marco, you seriously forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is barnacle. Yeah. You know that Nico won't let you, you don't say exactly right, and he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is barn up coal. Let me write that down. Yeah? Barnacle, eh? 